Hi guys, this is Grivelly again with another product review and I'm really excited to have a very, very unique product uh, on my blog today on the page. This is, uh, I've never even remotely reviewed a product that would be comparable to this ballpoint pen here that it essentially is. So it's really great to have the opportunity to talk about this pen a little bit. Uh, this is, as said, a very unique product. I have got this sent, this item for review here from uh, Stefan Lucht at uh, tinteimblut.de. I'm really grateful uh, for you to send me this this pen for review. Thanks, Stefan. Um, tinteimblut.de is also where you can get that pen from if you're if you're interested in it. And uh, as said, this is a ballpoint pen and what is special about this pen, you can maybe already guess it or see it, it is called a Photographica pen. And uh, essentially the whole pen is designed around those old Leica cameras. And uh, I'll cover the, the pen in, in a bit. So it essentially comes in, in this cardboard wrapped package here. Uh, on which you can already see a pretty accurate depiction of the Photographica pen that we as said cover in a little bit. It says Photographica pen here, has the Photographica logo here, SC Lucht and Probst, the designers of the pen. Then if you flip the packet around, you see, and I assume that this here is actually Stefan Lucht himself with a Leica camera, um, you see the Leica camera and the resemblances of uh, the pen and the Leica camera. There's something really a special gimmick about uh, the pen that I also cover in a minute, uh, which is that this turning knob that extends the tip of the ballpoint pen, you can actually remove that and then look in through the, this, hold that up against the light. This is a two millimeter photographic uh, Steno or whatever lens this thing is called and uh, it has original uh, photographs from the small small photographs from the 1950s or whatever I believe inside and you can actually hold that up against the light what peek through that and you'll see those photographs is a really nice feature and um, I believe that Stefan Lucht and and uh, and Probst they have designed that uh, that pen in honor of Lizzie and Niels Jürgen Probst, which were the grandparents, uh, exactly. And, uh, well, this one here, it has a medium, uh, a medium ballpoint lead. It comes with, uh, with a Schmidt Easy Flow refill, which is really nice. I'll show you that in a bit. And I have motive number five in my pen here, like those motives in here, they are, come with different motives. And, uh, the pen is limited to 500 editions worldwide. And my pen here has the Cathedral du Durin as a as a picture inside. The pen comes with uh, with a information sheet, whereas again you see SC Lucht and Probst Photographica pen. You see that stuff here again that we've talked about those pictures that uh, that are actually on on the other side. So if you peek through that small two millimeter lens here, you'll see that. Um, you see the pen a little bit better here, and then it comes with uh, three different pouches. Um, I mean, it's available with three different pouches. I got the brown one here. And uh, some specifications of the pen. It has an adjustable handle with original camera knurling, which is the stuff up here. Then it has a camera icon on the clip. We'll look at that live in a bit. Um, clip in the shape of a camera clamping lever. Uh, yeah, actually it's on the back side of the camera, so we can't see that, but that's that clip shape here. Then it has a soft paint volcanic surface analogous to historical cameras, which also feels really nice. I can already said that. The refill apparently has a 10 kilometer writing performance, which is quite a bunch of writing. You can run through a lot of notebooks with that. Magnesium is the material. Ah, Stano Hope, Stan Hope is, is, is what this two millimeter objective is called. A historical Stan Hope photographic two millimeter photo lens from the 1950s and French landscape photos inside. They are also from the 1950s, available in about 23 different uh, versions. As said in my uh, pen is the Cathedral, Cathedral de Rhin. Um, yeah, and a spring-loaded clip and limited edition of 500 pens worldwide. You can get all that at tinteimblut.de. 
Um, yeah, it's a really cool pen, but enough uh, about the pre-talk, but I, I believe because this is a special edition, this is a, is a very unique pen, so I think a little bit more pre-talk about that pen really is justified before we look into the pen itself that also comes in quite spectacular packaging i don't know when i don't know why but when i removed that thing first and i saw it this is leather smells really nice i believe it's leather because it smells like leather and the first thing that popped into my mind when i saw this was porsche right the 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 english mouse say porsche it's actually called, pronounced porsche in german but it, that reminded me of Porsche. I don't know why, but that just looked Porsche to me. So this is a really, really nice box. You open it up like that, says Fotografica pen, uh, has a warranty card in here with a little bit of uh, information. Um, and you can take that thing here out. Um, there's nothing else under it. There was, of course, the pen inside and I cover the pen now in a bit. So that's that with the packaging that is Quite heavy, really sturdy, nice feel to it here, leathery feel to it. You can see it has some kind of a structure, leathery structure here. That is really nice. So, um, yeah, looks really good. And let's cover the pen first and or, or look at the pen, the, 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 the pens, the, the etui that the pen comes in. A stitched leather etui has that Fotografica logo here again. Um, actually, the pen came like that, so it's supposed to be in here like this, I think. So that's how the pen pen came. But I find it's a little bit too much effort to always, you know, friggle that thing in here. So I usually store the pen like that. Um, really nice leather pouch. Smells nice, leatherish, sturdy says Fotografica minus pen, Fotografica pen in the Fotografica typo. And then um, it's very easy for you to fold those ears here away and then just take out this beautiful little pen here. Uh, so let's look at the pen itself. As said, up here we have this turning knob, this knurled turning knob. The, ma the material here is magnesium. This is magnesium, the clip is magnesium, and then the tip here is magnesium. We have this very, very nice, it feels really good. It's very, it makes it easy to operate because you can just extend the lead like that. One hand, one hand operation, one hand move, very, very easy to do, that is nice. You don't need your second hand to sort of like, I don't know, twist something, turn something. You just do like that and uh, you're good to go. So that's that. Then up here we have this uh, camera thing that I'll I'll remove that as a sort of like a finishing firecracker of the review in the end. We have this nice shaped clip here that is, as said, also shaped like a Leica camera part. You see the limited edition. Uh, uh, it's not an engraving. I think it's some kind of a laser print or something. Maybe it's engraved. Um, you see that here I have pen number 55 out of 500 in here inside the clip it says Germany on the clip very nice shape of the clip on the clip you have the Fotografica logo here and then you have again Fotografica pen that it says here on the clip you can see that right <clears throat> then you have this very very nice Volcano, whatever it said, this material is called. There's a lot of special special words here. Um, soft paint volcanic surface that actually now is resembling this, the surface of this camera. And I, I one at times one sees those on the on the flea market, so I I, I actually recall that. Uh, so that's that material here. Looks really nice very comfortable to hold like even when you have like today it's really warm here in stockholm it's around 28 degrees i have slightly sweatish hands but it's not slippery it's it's really comfortable to hold looks really great i find the, i mean the whole pen's appearance is really unique i think this is an eye catcher uh it's a really nice pen um medium weight i would i'd say it's a little bit heavier than a lamy safari maybe or something like that um and now um the the tip of the pen Magnesium again says SC Lucht and Probst, I guess. Let's, sorry for the camera. 
let's look at that. Yeah, SC Lucht and Probst, what it says here. Um, what's very nice about this spring-loaded clip here is that it's very easy to just, you know, put the pen into your shirt pocket. The shirt pocket will hold up against the pen like that here. You just extend the clip like that a little bit with one hand so you can actually also, right, you know, if that is my shirt pocket now, you just can one-handed, one-handedly slide that pen uh, through the spring loading into your short pocket so you also won't need your second hand for that and um, then refill wise as I said if we look at that it comes with a um, Schmidt easy flow made in Germany actually this is not a medium this is a broad that I have here um, this is actually I normally don't use ballpoints so often so I, the Schmidt easy flow refill system here was new to me and I have to say, being used to the smoothness of, normally being used to the smoothness of, let's do a quick writing sample here, of fountain pen nibs, I have to say that that refill here, and like I just twisted with one hand here, is actually uh, really spectacular. I mean, this really glides across the page. Uh, this is spectacular. I've never wrote with anything like that that is called ballpoint. Schmidt Easy Flow, and I've, I I was so interested in it, I googled it a little bit, and um, the Schmidt Easy Flow filling system apparently is some kind of a hybrid um, in between um, a rollerball and a ballpoint, so that is why it like really glides across the page, really really effortless. Like I mean, like I love writing with that pen. I have to say, I'm normally not the ballpoint user. I love fountain pens and rollerball pens, but I I will write in a lot in the future with this pen here. I mean, this is really a great alternative. Not any surface is usable and not any environment uh, is usable for fountain pen usage. So at times it is really practical to have a, a nice reliable ballpoint at hand and, and I consider this to be one of those. So um, for the end of the review, as said, the, the, the fireworks, the firecracker at the end, you can remove this thing here. You just pull it off, right? And then Ah, you can actually see it here on the camera. You see that dot in the middle? That is actually this photograph that is in here. And if you turn that around and hold it up against the light, so like, I don't know if you can see that photograph in here, if the camera will pick that up. Let me try to zoom in here a little first and then see if the camera will pick up. Yeah, if it, I hold it still. You can see, I mean, you won't really see it, but you see that there's something inside here, right? You see that. And that is this old photograph. And if I hold that up against the light and I peek through it, I can see an old photograph. I, I'll have to hold it up like this. This is the way I have to hold it up. And then I can see an old photograph and it says, it's a picture of a church. And inside it says, Cathedral de Rhin is framed. I mean, this is spectacular. It's really nice. Uh, this is really an, a neat a neat little gimmick. I don't know how often I'll be doing that. And it, it, it might look a little bit odd if I sit in a meeting and pull out that knob here and then peek through that thing. People might think that now the guy has gone nuts. But uh, it is actually a really nice little gimmick. Um, so now the, the only thing that is left for me to say about that pen, it's the price. And um, that is also why I dedicated now a little bit more attention to that product here. The price is 275 euros. Uh, 275 euros for a pen generally really is a word, right? I mean, yeah, you get a, you get a Pelican M600 for that or something like that. And now this is a ballpoint. Right? I mean, so it is uh, an expensive pen. I don't know if we have to start debating about whether that is justifiable, 275 euro. Um, of course, if you say 275 euros for a pen that I write with, and it's essentially a ballpoint pen like this Swedish Ballograph here, and that Ballograph, of course, also does write. Sure, and that costs uh, 3 euro. Right. I mean, so how can how can you how can you justify that? I think that is not the way that we can approach this product here. Of course, this is a luxury product. Right. I mean, like, uh, can you justify uh, the price for a Porsche? As I said before, that packaging reminded me of a Porsche. 
I don't know. I think we have to see that pen in its own right. We have to see uh, the pen for what it is. This will not be everyone's product. This is uh, a product, especially maybe for lovers of analog photography. This is an absolutely upmarket product. This is not a product that you just buy because you want to buy someone, uh, I don't know, a small gift or something. This is really a bigger gift, uh, maybe for a, for a 30th birthday or something like that. Um, I do think that we can justify the pen in a way through the materials used, magnesium and all that. It's a limited edition. It has this photograph in here. Um, there's a lot of detail work, a lot of love that went into that pen. You can really see the love for the, uh, the you can really see the love for the details and 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 the eye for detail that went into that pen. So it is a really well made pen. It looks really really great. It performs amazing there's nothing that's you know like i mean like everything is just like made very very well so there's i mean there's really nothing to complain about it the whole uh the whole appearance of the product with that with that pen sleeve or pouch or whatever is just like is a it's a very neat design is a nice thing so i do think that this is a really nice pen um is it worth the money yes and no if you if you think about a pen as something just to write with then you might well get a big ballpoint then you might think that this is not worth it i will say it's a luxury product and with luxury products it's often difficult to measure price rationally because this is a design object so you essentially also pay for the design and the limited edition and all that so um let me conclude by saying that this will not be everyone's product but i think if you have a love for design and uh, a love for analog photography and uh, of course also a love for a good pen then the photographica pen is definitely something that might be worth looking into um, if you're interested in the pen available at tintinblut.de and uh, yeah, I say thanks again, Stefan. I, I really enjoy that pen. It's, it's a great product and uh, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye-bye.